Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, I managed to progress in the whole termitary panacea thing enough to the point where I just need to wait until tomorrow where we go into Alongo. But for now, it's 1.37 a.m. on day 8. I'm still pretty worried that Ruben's gonna die. I felt relief when he didn't die at midnight, but now I'm wondering... Maybe they die in the morning? I don't remember when they died before. I don't remember. Maybe it's at 7.30. If it doesn't happen at 7.30, then I'm certain he's okay. But it still could happen. It could totally happen. Anyway, let's head over to the theater and see the performance for tonight. Got an ashen-faced person here. They've been surprisingly good at fighting. Oh no! Oh, I just breathed that in. Oh, wow! That was fantastic loot. I dropped the pocket watch. Uh, I'm not hungry. I can't really eat anything. I have too many lockpicks. Also, I don't need this blood wire, do I? No. I wanted to apologize for the lie. I did, but still, I lied. Betrayed his trust. Betrayal means death. Next. I cheated on my wife, but thing is, we've been together for... Cheating is betrayal. Betrayal means death. Please stand to the left. Next. Listen, I understand where this is going. I beg you, forgive me. I'm guilty of betrayal too, but I will never again... Death. Next. See, the circumstances were... I never wanted to betray them, but... Death. Look, is there anyone here with a different crime? There are no other crimes. There's no such thing as evil, murder, torture or violent abuse. The only real crime is betraying someone who trusted you. So everyone who has that kind of confession, please stand to the left. Your punishment is death. End of discussion. Dead item shops over here. I don't think I care, though. I have one bloody bandage, two broken ampules. Yeah, that's not worth going there. I'm not going to be able to get anything, probably. Maybe a single bullet or something. Oh, I just got an update just walking over here. Someone's wailing inside. That's obviously not a baby. That sounds like a fully grown... A woman, probably. What's going on in there? You haven't done something, have you, Anna? Um... Okay, how's my stuff looking? It's in pretty good condition. My immunity's low, though, so let's take something for that. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Actually, uh, let's take a normal zero. That'll increase my thirst. That's not a big deal, obviously. Do I have room to drink water and dump the rest in a bottle? Yeah, I'm not going to take up another inventory slot. Okay. What the hell's going on in here? I can't seem to get a good look at you. Wait. Uh, yes, I remember. You're Isidore's son. But I did not call for help. 
what are you doing here? I simply came here to see. A mistress should know her town, don't you agree? Then people came, who doubted that I am me and wanted to be sure. Suspecting that I'm not a real mistress seems quite popular these days. So they locked you in this house and nailed the door shut? Do you know the ancient way to identify a witch? If she drowns, she's innocent. If she survives, she must be a witch. Off to the stake with her. And our town's residents have taken to testing people with the plague. They call it sandboxing. What charming folk. Okay, that explains what Anna Angel was talking about. You know how like every time I talk to Anna Angel, they say that thing where it's like you either do this, this, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? So that's what getting sandboxed means. Didn't she also mention something about taking babies to the sandbox to be made into drugs, whatever the fuck that means? Has this been going on long? Since the Middle Ages. Come with me. I'm not done here yet. Be on your way now. I'm waiting for someone and don't need you around for that conversation. Who are you waiting for? Not you. Well, I've removed the boards. You're free to go. Do you imagine that those boards can measure up to the prison I've languished in for years? <laughs> go, Burrah. Cure the ones who need it. I can deal with this house without your help. The most horrible prisons are always internal. That is so creepy. And so worrisome about sandboxing. What the fuck? Should I loot this place while I'm in here? I am curious what an infected like drawer looks like now that I know that that's a thing. Ooh, I actually really needed that part. Metal scrap, now I can upgrade the Olympic to the max level. Damn. Lots of stuff. I'm not taking that kill, Bill. Might be worth going to the dead item shop now. I don't want to spend too long in here. But this is a very generous house. I think because it's a special house, there's no robbers in here. There doesn't seem to be any infection, really. So I actually probably should explore it. Oh, I think this one's going to break. Switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, three bloody bandages? Okay, it's worth going to the dead item shop now. Um, That's not in a very convenient place, though, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a downright shitty place. I guess I could take the boat up there? It's probably the best way. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, here we go. So this, I think, is an infected thing that I can loot because it's covered in, like, dirty splotches. So I'm not going to touch that one. Oh, shit. Sorry. second pocket watch. Yeah, that one also looks dirty. Something didn't fit. Marbles and fishing hooks? Oh, I got a full stack of fishing hooks. Damn. I gotta drop something. One scrap name isn't worth that much. What time is it? 310. Don't want to be here too long, but this is very good stuff. Maybe that's enough. No, it's not enough. I need more. Oh, that was a lot of money. 300. 
Can't fit that. Oh well, that's fine. A whole ass knife. Eh, it's too big. I'm not going to take it. Okay, I'll just loot this and then be done. Is that infected? Can't quite tell. Ooh, ring. I want to make room for that. Let's eat an egg. And let's drink a zir. Let's drink another one. Take that. And let's get the hell out of here. Let's go ahead and sell my valuables. Bracelet, 500. Pocket watch, 840. Value really seems to go up and down. I've gotten up to 1400 for this. But I'm respected in this zone, so I don't think it has anything to do with respect. Also got the ring. What am I going to buy, though? I think replacement boots, that would be nice. I don't need a toolkit. I can't fit a toolkit anyway. Uh, I want all of this, though. That, both of those, that. That's not much money, though. Yeah, I'll sell all the pocket watches and leave the ring, because... That way this frees up uh, four slots. We got a punchy boy over here. You know, I have a lot of lockpicks gathering up. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Is it at least almost broken? Oh yeah. I thought it would break in one hit kids gather at the station in the evening. Ah, oh, this is where uh, Capella and Han are talking. Iron creeps into the step. Ah, right, this is where we're basically told a little bit about the military coming in. Do they come tomorrow? Probably. Let's get an updated map from the kids. Fourteen for that. Oh, just a single Yas antibiotic would do. Who's in trouble aside from the three infected people? Yeah, Capella and Young Vlad. That's it. Oh, and Yulia, but we already gave them something. Yeah, Capella, Young Vlad, and then these three people here all need to be cured. What the hell? Why is there a bad guy sitting right outside of Salva's place? Calm down. That's very odd. I'm not going to take that bell. They were just right there, just hanging out in front of the door. They weren't even walking around or anything. It's like they were waiting for me. We want to ask our mother. How can we deny ourselves? My body won't let me forget it. I can't stop loving myself while I still have a body. Then shed your body? I want to abandon my name. So does my family. The Etseg A, the Abke, the Basagin, uh, the Akshan. Why would we need names? We're no one. I agree. I want to ask our mother about our speech. This foreign tongue impedes us. It slows our minds. How can we refuse it? Speak the step tongue. Mm, it's too bare. Too many new things in life that have no names in the step tongue. Invent new words. All right. I'll give you a schmatter.
Ooh. Very good reputation in the crude sprawl now. Almost maxed out. Looks like partner has come back. Back now? Good boy. Have you brought me anything? If you knew exactly what went on here, you wouldn't have come back. Or is that exactly the reason you did? Who are you? Clock puncher? I refuse to burn corpses in the factory's furnaces. Oh right, we were going to use the factory to burn bodies. Tis not God's way. A hawk, sure. A sausage. Be my guest. Leather to dry, I'm all for it. But a person? Hmm. Yeah, that's a nasty business. Not a person. A corpse. Mr. Big City Dandy wants us to burn corpses in the furnaces. He can burn or boil them back where he's from, but here we don't burn our dead. I'm the master of furnaces, and that's what I'm telling you. Hmm. See, I was under the impression that burning the dead was only forbidden by grace, and that it wasn't a local tradition. Is it an edict of the kin that we don't burn the dead? I don't think so. Not that that's the same as a tradition. Of course, there's other traditions apart from the kin. Mm hmm. Master Furnaces. That's what I'm telling you. You will burn the dead. If you won't, you'll die because of it. Hmm. Meaning? It's bad to leave the dead lying around. Corpses spread the plague, see? It spreads through the earth, too. Flies carry it, for example. We have a graveyard. Dumping them into pits. Saw that, didn't you? Means City Suit gave the order. Means it's all good. No, I really don't think it's all good. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Didn't seem to really lead to anything as far as a quest goes, but I wonder where that's going. It, I'm sure it's gonna go somewhere. Oh, right. You're hurt as well. Sticky. All good. Alright, let me figure out my inventory and everything. Let's see what I can fix. Boots. Maxed out, nice. Yeah, let's sharpen the lancet. Uh, I'm out of red thread. Do I have any stored away? No. Okay. Um, oh, we can do the Olympic. Heck yeah. Maxed out. Am I going to need that many slots? Probably not. <laughs> but it's nice to have. And, uh, oh yeah, we need the army coat to do that. Our gloves could use it too, but man, I just run out of stuff for repairing clothing so fast. You know, because well, like, with a weapon, you're using up one thing's durability, but when you go into an infected zone, you pretty much use up everything. All four things. So that's four things you have to repair. It's hard. You just can't get enough stuff to repair it all. Let's brew some more Medrol Plus. Looks look brown so with swivery. Must have come from the hospital. Up to ten, that's good. I like to make some more zeers. And I always forget what that is. Brown and blood? It might be black. I'm not sure. It's brown and something. Yeah, it's not that. Brown... Oh, brown and black? There we go. Just for the sake of saving inventory space, I think I'm just going to leave the lancet behind. 
It's a very good tool, but I think Menhu's finger is at least as good. And I don't think I'm going to need multiple scalpels, am I? I do remember Menhu's finger did almost break when I used it inside of the abattoir. Hmm. Maybe it is a good idea to have a backup. Okay, I'll keep it. But I'm going to start using Menhu's finger instead of the lancet. Let's get some nice painkillers brewing with these two healthy hearts. Alright, my exhaustion is completely maxed, so I need to sleep. I'm scared to sleep because I'm scared that Ruben's gonna die at 7.30. I'm really scared. I'm just gonna pass up the dead item shop for today. I, I don't think I need it. It's not like I need food. It's not like I'm desperate for any particular thing, although there is the chance that it has schmouter. That's a chance I'm willing to take. I just really hope Ruben doesn't die. If they do, I have no idea what to do. I'm going to take this painkiller. It's made from heart tissue, so it should be pretty high quality. Lowered our hunger. Let's do three hours. Ruben, please. Oh, we got a dream. Well, of course it's about the skin. The skin is a connection. It's what you use to touch the world, isn't it? Your border. Oh, there's the word. Border. Like the brain. Everything that limits us exists only in the mind. Imperare sibi maximum imperium est. You're talking past each other. Ah, everyone does. The organs are what matter, and blood. Blood is the bond between us. But touch is transformative. You can only change someone through touch. They'll undergo a metamorphosis and not even notice. So it's all deception to you? Where did you even come from? No, I don't deceive people. But I touch things, leaving behind tiny pieces of myself. Then I watch. Watch them change. You can't change someone against their will. Only will matters. Which proves this is all about blood. Blood is only a stream of red and white cells. Sure, they contain information, but how can anything compare to the magnificence of the brain? Make up your mind. Otherwise the town will die. No, it won't. I can perform miracles. Just let me. Let me go. Stop playing against me, both of you. Playing? Do you think this is a game? 914 people died yesterday. 922. It will be more than a thousand tomorrow. Yes, this is exactly my point. They're all numbers to you. But what you think of as zeros and ones are actual people. They've already been touched by someone's will. They've been reanimated. I don't think we'll ever see eye to eye. We have such little time left. Shall we leave then? So we separate, as usual. How many days do we have? Eleven? Let's go. The clock is ticking. Come on, Reuben, come on, Reuben, come on. Okay, okay. Day eight in which the Respects finally realizes how deep the rifts go. <laughs> Reuben? Reuben's. We're, we're, uh. Reuben. Reuben's alive. They would have died by now, wouldn't they? I'm almost certain. I 
I think they really are okay. It's weird. I just... I don't know what exactly I did that made them okay. I mean, I know that apparently going ahead on trying to develop the panacea and making really good progress in that, I think is what does it, but why? Like, why specifically? What specifically did I do that made Reuben not die? I'm trying to think, and I just don't know. Like, why would making headway on the panacea, and then kind of hitting a brick wall anyway, because I don't have a, a way to access more of that blood, how does that help Reuben stay alive? Does it stop the kin from... killing him with their eyes or whatever they do? I don't know. And what still drives me up the wall is, since my sleep kept getting interrupted, is my painkiller still in effect? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna take another one, just to be sure. This one's also made from heart tissue. Let's go for two hours. Yeah, that's pretty good. Should maybe eat a little something? Maybe? My hunger's not very high, to be honest. I'm gonna put away my dead items. I guess the smoked meat's probably fine. I don't... That actually might be wasted. I'll keep it on me and just eat it later. Let's cure Andre Stamaton. You get the panacea, buddy. You get the, the best one out of all of them. I want to see if I can buy coffee beans. At this point, even if they cost a thousand, I have the money and I don't want to waste time sleeping. They want white whip. Wonderful. Well, you can have this blood twire. Lemon is actually surprisingly good. Mm, let's buy all these nuts. I have a lot of money. I have almost 20,000. I should probably buy a gun, really. A couple twirines? Sure. Take the lemon right now. I think lemon is slightly less effective than coffee at reducing your exhaustion, but it doesn't hurt your health. It's quite nice. That's gotta be a cash. Ooh, what is that? I don't think that's a cash. Big Vlad is dead, of course, but it seems to be in Big Vlad's wing. Is somebody there? Interesting. Very intriguing. I finally found a spindle to give to Anna Angel. Thank you for the burden. I'll be sure to process it into a good painkiller. Let's go say hi to Grace. See how they're doing in Peter Stamaton's care. Oh right, and I can talk to Peter Stamaton as well. I think I remember them asking me, what does a child eat? What does it eat? Will I be interrogated as well? I don't know how to care for him. Uh, he's the one who's supposed to take care of you. Not at all, he's a living person. Are you implying you're dead? Wait, what, what are you implying? M meaning? He's real, but I don't know how to care for him. I'm used to singing lullabies, but I don't know what to do with the living. Do they like lullabies? Of course, even adults need them sometimes. Peter will teach me. It's warm here. I, I like this place. You're a good kid. Plenty is a plague. Thou shalt not fear the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Remember the psalm? I've always been curious why the pestilence walks there like it's a living creature. Perhaps there's a reason. See, I've got a second daughter now. First one's over there by the Gorhon, and the second is here by my side. Um, any idea what they eat? Little 
little girls? Uh, I'm not sure. Raspberries and earthworms, I believe, although you need to chew them yourself first. Really? No, you idiot. Bread, meat, milk, vegetables, whatever you have. She gave me a brilliant idea. To give her a separate room? No. Why do we keep insisting that buildings have to go upwards? I want to create a great pit, Burach. Get it? Like a polyhedron, but down, not up. Yeah, pits are frowned upon around here. Wait, the polyhedron defied the law of gravity, so the pit would defy our perception of space, our understanding of up and down. Do you get it? Do you? Do you think they actually end up inventing it if I uh, don't end up not being able to save them and they die on day 10? Peter, you need to get some sleep. I mean it. Tomorrow, when your head is clear, you'll draw that pit of yours. A pit. A genius pit. So that's how you and Grace connected. Talking about pits. <laughs> Ooh, we got a lot of fire bombers here. Holy shit, everybody's on fire. Damn, that's effective. Good stuff. How much did that, did that hurt, man, whose finger? Not much. Mm, they'll know if I loot that body. This place is marked on my map. I think it's a cache I've been to before, almost certainly, so there must be something new here. There's also a bad dude. Oh, who am I kidding? You're gonna... Oh, never mind. They turned. They were gonna see me if they kept coming straight on, of course. Which way are you going? Calm down. Ooh, package. Nice package you got there, buddy. see the egg. Not sure what else I got. I'm pretty hungry too. Let's eat that smoked meat. So yeah, cash. Is it up or is it around the back? I think this one's up. Lost note. Guys, he needs a way to remove blood stains. If you know one, leave a note. I wish I could leave notes, but... There's no way, right? I mean, there's no paper. There's no writing utensils. I've never seen any way to leave any sort of a note. Put something good in here. Peanuts? Yeah. Another bad dude. This thing is so good. I should repair it. I also have two lockpicks that are ready to be instant death stabbies. Ooh, I see two bad dudes in the distance. Maybe I should stab them. Yeah, let's get an instant stabby here. There he is. Boop. And then, hell, should I do the same on the other one? Or should I, I should save this. Yeah, for like an Odong or something. Something a bit harder. Uh, what? Really? Okay. He's here. I know. Thank I'll be there soon. Oh, really? All the way on the tip? Alright. Help 
Need Here. some help. Calm down. Have I ever heard them call for help like that before? I don't think so. Let's go check on Lara. See if they've now made any progress setting up the shelter. It doesn't seem like it. I don't know why that that whole thing just seems to have died out. Yeah, and I still can't talk with her. What happened with the shelter? There's just, like, nasty water out there, and... <sighs> you know, there's some bodies out here, too. Maybe these are bodies of people that drank the water, and they died, and she realized that muddy water is actually very, very bad, and so she gave up. Is that what happened? I guess so. Just surprised there was no quest to talk about it with her. Was there a way to give her clean water? I could not figure out anything. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out what's here at this cache on the tip and do our daily rounds at the theater slash hospital.